Hi YouTube, this is Anna here. I just thought I would check in and let you know how my pre-op diet is going so far. I am on day number nine of my pre-op liquid diet and it is going pretty well so far. I've had a few really small cheats. I had um, a little piece of cabbage that was in my broth and a couple little vegetables like um, a, a little piece of a sauteed carrot and a piece of sa sauteed squash. So other than that, I've been pretty good on my diet so far. Having chicken broth, protein shakes, sugar-free jello, sugar-free popsicles, strained cream soups, uh, non-fat plain yogurts, um, and any kind of sugar-free juices, so uh, artificially sweetened juices, which I don't really like. Um, and I've also been having freshly juiced vegetables. Um, one thing I wanted to tell you guys about breastfeeding and the doing juicing of the vegetables, I've been making broccoli, beet, and carrot juice, and my breast milk started changing funny colors. So now that I am um, drinking a lot of juice and mainly all liquids, um, my breast milk has been kind of pinkish from the beets, obviously. So that was kind of weird the first time I saw it. I was like, oh my god, what's going on? But um, I guess it's normal. Um, and then because I have a lot of spinach in it as well, when the milk separates in the fridge, you know how the fatty layer goes on the top and then the watery layer is on the bottom? The fatty layer, layer on the top is reddish and then the watery part on the bottom is a greenish. So right now I have a bunch of Christmas milk in the fridge. So um, in case you're juicing and pumping or breastfeeding and your milk looks funny, that's probably why. <sighs> Other than that, uh, if you're wondering why I don't have a shirt on, it's because I'm pumping right now. I've already checked uh, Facebook and Instagram and I have about 20 more minutes of pumping left so I thought I would make a video. My supply the first couple days dropped about an ounce a day and um, I wasn't very hopeful that it was going to stay up um, at that rate for me to be able to continue to pump until my daughter was one. She's ten and a half months old right now and I've been exclusively pumping from the beginning. So uh, over the past couple days, my supply has come up uh, one to two ounces, so I have leveled out at about 22 to 23 ounces a day, which is still plenty for her in a day, and I'm hoping it will stay up around that um, after surgery, at least to 20 ounces. I'm planning on pumping um, at the hospital before and after surgery and while I'm recuperating and while I'm on any meds and I will just pump and dump until I am off all meds hopefully my supply will stay up until then. I also wanted to let you guys know a little bit about the vitamins that I have. Um, I bought a lot of um, multivitamins and uh, here I'll show you. There they all are. That's a lot of them. So there's a uh, Let's see here, we have a liquid multivitamin, we have gas X strips, B12 drops, chewable iron, chewable calcium, uh, B complex pills, I have my prescription vitamin D that I'm on, we have vitamin K, uh, another chewable multivitamin, uh, biotin for my hair. I probably went way overboard and don't need all this crap, but just in case I need it, there it is. I also got a liquid adult Tylenol for a pain medicine in case I need it after surgery. And I got the Biotin, the mouth spray, since we're not allowed to eat or drink anything 24 hours before surgery. Um, that's basically all that I have ready uh, supplement wise for in Mexico. I'm planning on bringing um, just comfy clothes basically. Um, hopefully not too much stuff. They said not to pack anything real heavy. We won't be able to lift anything over 10 pounds, so I'll be packing um, the least as possible. I might just bring a list of all my stuff that I got, all the supplements to ask the doctor about them and make sure I can take them, um, but I'm pretty sure I can. I 
read lots of blogs and watched lots of videos and this seems to be what everyone else is taking um, just like what everybody else is taking in combination so it's a little bit more than most people are taking but I really want to try to avoid my hair falling out uh, a couple years ago I lost a large amount of weight on the HCG and Phenermine diet and a lot of my hair fell out really bad in clumps and it didn't start coming back until I started putting weight back on so I'm hoping to avoid that this time um, other than that um, I thought I'd uh, let's see here I wanted to tell you guys about the bone broth that I found you know we're allowed to have chicken broth so um, at the nutritionist appointment that I went to somebody there had told me about bone broth which has nine grams of protein it has about 25 uh, calories and no carbs and no sugar so I've been boiling that with my vegetables as a little bit of a change um, I've been having that and it's a lot better if you boil it with other stuff if you drink it on its own it's not very good so uh, that's another change I've been having other than the uh, fat-free plain yogurt. I've been mixing that with Crystal Light and that has been very good as well. So we're doing all of our little last-minute preparations here, putting up baby gates and um, latches and going through all the kids toys so there's nothing small. I just want to make sure everything is in order before I go out of town. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything just uh, shoot me a message and I will get back to you and I will keep you updated on how my supply is going. Thanks, bye.